At this point in the floor planning process, you now see that we have completed all of the individual rooms and hallways, and we have also put in the dimensions of all of these rooms and hallways, as well as exterior walls and including the interior walls. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to now add some part features. For example, the windows, the doors, double door openings, double windows, and anything else that we might be able to find uh, for this particular part of the project. So uh, in order to basically find out where these different door openings and window openings will be located, I can simply go up to the top of the screen here in my SketchUp window where it says Get Models. It's a nice little shortcut. In the 3D warehouse, you will then be able to do a search. I'm going to double click right here so that I get the full screen size. Actually, I'm going to try that again. Let me enlarge it myself. And in the Trimble Warehouse, I'm going to type in the following tag. STEM, Neighborhood, Project, or just put in STEM Neighborhood. And that tag should take you right into the collection uh, that I've designed uh, for everyone to use. So as you can tell, there is a collection here that in some cases is not finished, but will get you started for this part of the floor planning process. So as you can tell, there are garage door opening, double closet door opening, single window opening, double window opening, and door opening. And later when we get into raising the walls, you will then obviously see that we will add these components as well, such as the single interior door, double window, closet sliding door, double window, which is a plain version, and then obviously there will be some more here for you, for example, with garage doors. So let's start off with some door openings. So I'm going to simply click on the door opening, click on that link, and I'm going to download the model directly into the model that I'm currently working on, which is our floor plan. Hit yes. Then I'm going to zoom in, and I need to locate where I would actually like to put the doors. So for example, I'm going to go all the way down here into the first bedroom, and we're going to work on the bedroom. Here. So I'm going to zoom in using the little mouse and simply just line the door up on that edge. In some cases, your door may lower too far down into the, into the actual floor plan. If that happens, just move the door out and make sure that you locate the bottom edge, one end point of the component. Don't click up here because people will commonly make this mistake and they will say, well, where is the door? I don't see it on my floor plan. So once again, pull it off of the drawing, zoom in, click on the end point, and then drag it into the location that you're trying to put it. So we're going for bedroom one, zoom in. And the only problem here now is that the door opening is set up so that it opens into the hallway, and that's not how it's going to work. So we're going to click on one of the plus signs, these red plus signs which cause the rotate option with Protractor to appear. I'm going to rotate that all the way so that the door opens inward. Okay, and then I'm going to, once again, zoom in on this and move it into place. Okay, so the door is opening, you know, zoom in. The door is opening this way, and that's actually not really the direction it should go. So let's rotate again, and that looks good to me. The door is now opening against this Area. So I'm going to move in, move it over against the wall, and that's the first doorway. And an easy shortcut to add another doorway is to simply just copy and paste. So Control C, Control V. There's another door, and you can add that to the next bedroom. So, for example, let's go over here and rotate this to the next bedroom. Okay. Zoom in. Once again, this needs to be rotated so that the door opening is set situated like this. Okay, there's the next door opening. So you have two door openings now added into your house. And you can go forward through that way. Or another option of copying or duplicating components as you are looking at right now, you can simply take the move tool, since it's already selected, hold the control key down until you see the plus sign, and then drag along that axis until you are satisfied with where 
the new door will be placed. So there is the next door, and if I don't want it there, just drag the endpoint along the red axis, as you can tell, it's a red axis, all the way down. So there's another doorway. So you see we've already added three doorways. In order to get us ready for the next step, I also want to make sure that I draw rectangles around the doors. That way, whenever I raise the walls, the doors will not be part of the raised wall area. So I'm going to come through here, create a rectangle on all three of these door openings. And this particular door opening, I see that I have a problem. So I need to make sure that I'm only picking on the outside edges. From here to here. And I can check to make sure that all of these are there by clicking on the door and moving it. So there we go, that's perfect. Just hit escape so it goes right back to where it was. And as you can tell, later on, we're actually going to erase the center lines here. Okay, I'm just going to take those away just for the time being to show you how when I raise the walls, the doorway opening will still be there. And if I didn't have that rectangle there, and I'll just do as an example here, get rid of the door. If I didn't have this rectangle here, and the door opening was the only thing left behind, when you raise the wall, you'd have to then add the doorway again later. So I'm going to go backwards. Pull that back into place.